Hi, I'm Mike Tidwell, Director of the Chesapeake Climate Action Network and CCAN Action Fund, and I hope you are well and safe. As for me, I used to be a globe-trekking climate activist. From my home near DC, I used to travel to faraway exotic capitals like Richmond, Virginia, and Annapolis, Maryland to lobby legislators. But now, like you, I'm quarantined here on my porch swing. On the 50th anniversary of Earth Month, I occupy a roughly 10 square block universe around my house. Yet I have discovered several new activities that give me the power to act locally. And I mean inside my house and in my neighborhood locally while keeping global climate change at the center of my life. So cue the drum roll. What follows in this video is a summary of several activities that you can take, ranging from saving a tree with your bare hands to pedaling a bicycle to stop oil companies, to writing letters to out-of-state swing voters, and attending a first-ever online comedy show to honor Mother Earth and raise money for a local food bank. So let's get started with the big day itself, Earth Day, April 22nd. You're probably already plugged into lots of events already around your neighborhood or elsewhere, but here's what I want to ask you to do. Get outside. Get outside on Earth Day and save a tree in your neighborhood. You can hug the tree too if you want, but mostly I want to ask you to save a tree from the ravages of invasive species. See my blog post below on how I just saved a 150-year-old tree in just 22 minutes. Next, on April 24th, this Friday at noon, tune in to CCAN's first ever Earth Hour live presentation on Zoom in partnership with the Global Earth Day Live event. We'll be featuring live performances from climate musicians Gene and Gayla Mills in Virginia, yoga from climate yogi Galen Trumbull of Maryland, and activism presentations from CCAN staff on Capitol Hill, in Richmond, and in Maryland. Check out the link below for more on that. Moving on to April 30th, Thursday. First, during the day, our friends at Shutdown DC are organizing a creative and safe bike parade to visit the offices of big oil companies in DC who are wrecking our planet and the banks that finance them. If you live in or near DC, join us. I'll be there on my two-wheeled thrift store bike. It's part of the Earth Day to May Day actions organized by Shutdown DC. Learn more below. And also on April 30th, and pay attention to this one now, CCAN is sponsoring the first ever comedy night for Earth Month at 8 p.m. on Zoom. Why are we doing this? Because it turns out that jokes can go viral too, and laughter is contagious. We'll feature Maryland climate comedian Robert Mack of Comedy Central fame. Did you know, for example, that we could lower the projected future global warming impacts in the United States from seven degrees to two degrees just by switching to the metric system? We could do it overnight. Check out our comedy show April 30th at 8 p.m. Proceeds go to the Capital Area Food Bank. Learn more about all of this in the notes below and make sure you sign up for CCAN's activist survey so we can know what trainings and activities you're interested in. And please RSVP for our upcoming climate change education trainings. It's all below. And finally, I want to give a plug to a group called Vote Forward. They help people like you and me who are stuck at home but with functioning ink pens to write letters to people in swing states like Pennsylvania, encouraging them to vote in November. I'm in the process of writing 100 letters myself. Join me. Check out the link below for Vote Forward. Have a great Earth Month, meanwhile. Save a tree, ride a bike, write a letter, and laugh as much as you can. Thanks a lot. See you soon.